Hey guys, Q here. In this video, I'll be discussing the nail salon phone number that you can call from Better Call Saul. Warning of mild spoilers until about halfway through season 5 and let's jump right into this. So during season 5 episode 5 when Saul and Kim meet Mr. X, Steven Ogg, viewer Jeff Murray pointed out that the nail salon had a phone number to call. So I was just so excited about seeing Steven Ogg again that I wasn't even thinking about it, but after having the phone number tweeted at me, I thought that maybe this number isn't new and that it's actually from a previous season. So I went on the wiki fandom trying to look for info on the spa and nail location, but not much was really there at all. I think someone should probably update it, but it wasn't until I clicked on the owner of the shop and then looked at her appearances that I could figure out most of the times that we've ever seen the nail salon in the show. I found the number in season 1 episode 4 and it's possible that the number's in the first two episodes as well. I've never actually called this number but keep in mind that it's from the season 1 era even though it's still shown in season 5. I feel like I saw it on a reddit post years ago or something but anyways let's go ahead and call it. Hello, this is Day Spa and Nail Best in Albuquerque. This number is for day spa and nail customers and future customers only. Please, leave a message or call back when we are open. Do not leave a message if you need a lawyer, unless you want spa and nail services first. Thank you for choosing day spa and nail. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna... And then it hangs up. All right, I'm gonna have to there's a loud beep at the end there I'm gonna have to tone that down But that was just that was hilarious since I was doing a little bit of research for the nail salon I was kind of looking into her character reading her bio and just a summary on the, all the scenes that she's been in Looking through the first few episodes of season one, you know I got a, a taste of her character again, so to speak So that was just really funny seeing that extra bonus phone call from her It's about her nail spa salon obviously and she's talking about you know customers for her don't leave a message if it's a customer for Jimmy for a lawyer which is just hilarious she's always had sort of this hatred towards Jimmy but since he always would pay the rent you know she'd have to leave him alone and that made me realize something it was a running gag during season one albeit a depressing running gag where Jimmy went back to his office behind in the back of the nail salon and he would sit there and see if he has any potential phone calls or messages left for clients and he just doesn't get any. Is this one of the reasons why? Because even on the off chance that he did get a call in, he would get this uh, voicemail of the woman telling them to not leave a voicemail for a lawyer unless they want to, you know, go to the spa first. Was she sabotaging him in that way? Is that is that canon? Is that a thing? And I don't think that that would be the only reason why he's not getting any phone calls. I mean, you know, everything else that was going on with season one as well, but I just feel like that's some funny icing to the cake. And it wasn't until season four that she actually kind of sympathized with him for a bit after him having difficulties with Kim, and I'm not too sure if we're gonna see much of her. She sort of just appears when she needs to, whenever, you know, the story calls for it, whenever Jimmy's there during the day. We didn't see her there because he was there during the night, so, but you know, the number was still there to call because of continuity and whatnot, so yeah, that's just really funny. That makes me want to go watch a bunch of earlier episodes, and I don't know, I feel like I might rewatch the show after season 5 is over. But yeah, what do you guys think? What did you think about that phone number? Were you hoping for an actual voicemail from Jimmy? I was kind of expecting it to be her. I didn't want to say anything, didn't want to get my hopes up. But yeah, that was just really cool and I love finding numbers like this from the Breaking Bad Better Call Saul universe to call and I guess we're making a series out of it on the channel. Might have to create a video playlist or something. Let me know of any numbers that you may know of from both Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul, and I'm up for creating a short video on it, giving a quick summary of it along with our reaction. I also decided to do this quick video now, right before episode 506 comes out, and then after the mandatory trailer breakdowns, I should be able to pump out more videos this week because I'm pretty sure I've figured out all of my computer nonsense for now, knock on wood. That being said, if you have any topics for season 5 that you'd like discussed here on the channel that we haven't yet already, let me know. But otherwise, possibly check out some of the other phone numbers that we've called from Better Call Saul if you haven't yet already. Okay, so this is actually crazy. Real quick, like, 
right after I finished the video, while it was rendering out, I went on Twitter and noticed that on the Better Call Saul Twitter, they have a promo image from Season 5, Episode 6, and it looks like the day spa and nail sign on the front of the place has a different phone number. And that's just really weird because if you look at Season 5, Episode 5, when Steve and Aug is showing up, yeah, it's a little bit blurry, but it's definitely the same number as it was back in the day, which is 505-842-5325. But now it's changed from uh, the 842 number to 332-3102. And this new number from this new promo uh, image, I tried calling it, and it just rings indefinitely, so I don't know if it's something new from the new episode, if this is just going to totally just blow this whole video out of the water, and I'm going to have to do another one on a new number again, I have no clue, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, and if you're new here or just haven't yet already, subscribe and hit that bell notification for updates on whenever I post more content on Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. As always, I thank you guys all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!